Hi, my name is Michael Taylor. I'm the curator of the Picasso and the Avant-Garde in Paris exhibition at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. And we decided very early on with this exhibition to not just make it a monograph about Picasso, but show him amongst his contemporaries, chief among them being Georges Braque. There are 18 works by Braque in this exhibition, none more beautiful and important as this one, which is called Violin and Newspaper of 1913. Braque's father was a painter decorator, and it was he who taught Picasso and Braque how to make these kind of low art forms like faux bois and stenciling. These were techniques that were not taught in the fine arts academies of the day. They were taught by the painter decorators. They were essentially ways of embellishing the common household. Faux bois is simply fake wood grain. So Braque here has painted this guitar and then he's dragged a house painter's comb through it to make those wavy lines simulating the wood grain. And similarly, stencil, you know, just using the, the, the letters here to form the word fête and journal, or jeune rather, after the, the newspaper Le Journal, which was one of the newspapers that all of the Cubists read, and it appears often in their work. So these were ways in which the fine art traditions, um, you know, of perspective and chiaroscuro were replaced by the Cubists by these low forms of art that they were learning uh, with great excitement from Braque's father. Now, another thing to remember about Cubist works is always pay attention to what is being said. I mentioned Le Journal, the newspapers. Often these still lives, and, and still life is the predominant genre of, of Cubism, these still lives actually take place in cafes. And you have to notice what they are drinking and where they are. Their favorite bar was the Austin Fox Bar in Paris, which sold British Bass Ale. So you'll often see references to Bass. You'll see references to their newspapers, Le Journal, or here, Le Petit Parisien. These are the newspapers that they're reading on the daily basis. So they're taking fragments of their daily reality and showing it to you in a new way. This is the excitement of Cubism, the reordering of reality. And I think what's great about a work like this is it's all there. You get the stenciling, the faux bois, the newspaper. This is what makes a great Cubist work of art.